Hello, Internet! Uh, today we're back on um, Battle Stadium, from the Battle Stadium Live. This is a very special one, though, because we have got a uh, French legend with us, Harry. Hello, Harry. Hey, Bears. I'm really excited to make, like, recorded some videos earlier. Well, we streamed earlier, but actually it was the very first time that I made uh, English-speaking content on my YouTube channel. And so that's, that's very special. Wow. For me too. Wow, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I don't speak French outside of like we oui and and uh, toi and <laughs> like the very basics. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I brought a little bit of English, a little bit of a variation to your stream there. Um, but uh, basically, uh, we're going to go back to the Sun team with um, the Stone Journey. I've changed him on top to a Raichu just because I felt that um, other lightning rods and something like Gyarados was like a, a big problem for us but um yeah i mean yeah we've just been streaming with this uh with harry and um it's it's a fun team i mean it's not the most solid team i mean because we've, we've lost him on top now we kind of lose to tyranitar a little bit more but uh there's no tyranitar here so let's see what we can do hmm. i'm not used to play such offensive teams in this format so that's good i'm kind of forced to play this kind of team yeah, something uh, different for you. It opens my field of view. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm looking at the combination of women's cart and like maybe a scarfed dragapult, and I'm thinking, ooh, that's not good. So, I'm a little bit scared here. A scarf, um, Dragovish rather, me. not dragapult. The other one. So, ooh, yeah, this is tricky. Um, I don't think it's going to go trick room. It doesn't look like a, a trick room sort of team, but. But I do need to worry about his fast mode. The thing is, I wonder what the gender is item. Mm. I there's a whimsic art in the team. Yeah, that's that's correct. That's a, a good point. I would still guess it's Sash on Chandelure and maybe like an expert belt or something on the whimsic mm -hmm. Um But I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, this is kind of tricky. Because I, I want the sun so that... Charizard can maybe survive an attack from the um, from the uh, Dracovish. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Bishop in this last lot, but as I always say, Bishop looks good against <laughs> any team. Yeah, you like Bishop, don't you? I mean, on on paper, it's such a good Pokemon, but in reality, that the thing. it's not always too good. Yeah, but. I mean, Raichu could have been good here. Stonjourner could have been good here as well, too. But, let's see. Mama's Ryan and Whimsicott. Well, that's not what I expected. So, this could just be a... Tailwind and, like, a Rock Slide. But I don't think Rock Slide is mm, such a threat. While Max Rockfall is... Hmm. Like, surely he has to target the Charizard here as well, too. So, I'm thinking, like, maybe going for an Eruption, and this is like a risky, a risky swap into Bishop. Yeah, but, like, he has, he's scared by Charizard for sure, right? Yeah. If he has Rock Slide, then I think there's no reason not using Max Rockfall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mammoth Wine's not something that we've seen much of this year, but... It's it's always a potentially, th well, it's always a very threatening Pokemon, but it's always potentially got a, a nice niche. We saw it obviously won Worlds in 2013 with Arash, didn't we? But it's never really been used that much. Not taking the Intimidate now. Okay, so there's no, no Dynamax. This might just be a Rock Slide then. Yeah, it is, okay. Yeah, it does a decent amount to Torkoal. And we get the Eruption That's off, fine. which is nice. Oh, wow. No Thick Fat anymore. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, they might have Oblivious now for, for Intimidate. That's a point. <laughs> and so, yeah, it it, uh, ans uh, it answers to uh, the Chandler's item, I guess. Yeah, it could be a Focus Sash then. Obstacle. Okay. So he did Tailwind, didn't he? So we are still threatened. Yeah. 
Let's think about how we do this one, because if he airstreams here, then I think we're still in a very bad position. Uh, if he has close combat on Obstagoon as well, which I kind of expect, Bishop is, is very threatened here as well. So I don't think we can afford to switch anything in. Hmm, we could maybe Dynamax Torque Hall. Don't you want to Dynamax Venusaur? Um, I do, but I'm just thinking, um, yeah, I'll just go for a Heat Wave here. I'm just thinking that, and uh, I think he will close combat the Bishop. If he does, he's getting a defense drop, but if he doesn't, um, I'm brick breaking him. Uh, which is two, times four effective, actually, being normal and dark. But I think if he airstreams here, um, because he's in Tailwind as well, he's still going to be faster than Venusaur. So, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that was my worry. So even though we took a, a fantastic lead turn one, this is this is still very, very tricky for us, because I think Annette, yeah, is because combat, so he's, he's at his minus defenses now. But um, this Togekiss is going to be a, a pain, especially if it critical hits everything. If this doesn't knock Torque Hall out, we're getting a nice heat wave off at least. Yeah, but it is an airstream. Mm -hmm. And we haven't got a sash on Venusaur, so Ooh yeah, this is this is, well this has been a very, very, very quick game. This is what happens with offensive teams, I suppose. Do you hold do you think you hundred percent hold this heat? If you Dynamax Torque Hall? Uh, I think Torque Hall would have survived if I Dynamaxed it. Um so we don't know yet if it's uh as Scotland's to kiss or not. Hmm. And I could have, I suppose if I did, I could have one shot the obstacle in there with Max Flare, but then we would have had a normal Charizard and a normal Venusaur versus these two. I think, mm -hmm. I think we need to maybe protect the Venusaur and Dynamax and Gigantamax the Charizard, because obstacle normally have Dark Attack, Fighting Attack, maybe a normal attack, and maybe a second Dark Attack. I guess they it's don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they have like a rock uh -huh. normally. I don't accept it neither. So I think I think we do protect the Venusaur here because I think he's got to be worried about sleep powder and everything. And um, I don't think an airstream. I don't think there's much point in an airstream because he's, he's just going to airstream faster. again. So if we get rid of the obstacle, then at least we can maybe bring it down to a two-on-one. And as long as Charizard, hmm, I mean Charizard might be two shot here, but if it is, Venusaur will still be healthy, and we've got an extra turn on his Dynamax, so that we can maybe. Oh, but if he gets if he gets three airstreams off, then he will still be faster even in the sun. So, yeah, this has been a wild, very fast paced game. Oof. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that power of gods. And okay, well, that's the best turn that we can make anyway. So yeah, there's two now, and we'll be chipping down on the uh, Obstagoon as well. Yeah, so Guts isn't the, the normal ability. Normally, you'd have Defiant on Obstagoon, so it's interesting to see the uh, Flame Orb there. That was a Flame Orb, wasn't it? Unless I'd, I'd, I guess. I'd missed something wrong there. But now Venusaur, if this is a timid max speed Togekiss, we are speed tying here. So I need to just try and sludge bomb and well, if I airstream myself, that's, I, I can't, I can't get my Charizard faster than Togekiss here. So I have to just go for the most powerful mm -hmm. attack, I think. Oh, he won the speed tie. Well, that's unfortunate. He, yeah, he was only at plus two speed there, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, it wasn't plus two, yeah. Yeah, and we're still in the sun right now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. It's the last turn now, if I'm correct. Yeah, so that was a speed tie. He is a timid max speed token case. So, basically, he's going to be faster. Does his air slash knock out <laughs> Charizard here or not? Um, we're going to have one more turn of Gigantamax over his Dynamax, so an Air Slash, Might if it doesn't flinch, won't knock us out here. Wait, 
cannot flinch. I think, I think, as long as we survive this, I think we're okay. Because if he protects, we'll knock him out through the... Uh... I think we, I think we survived the crazy. Yeah, thing. yeah, through the, either through the protect or with the wildfire chip at the end there too, so... Wow, that, <laughs> that was a that wild was game. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, we got there. Phew. Yeah, wow, so, yeah, wow. A mammoth swine with oblivious, so it went down to the eruption turn one, and... Yeah, his Togekiss very nearly swept through us there. Are you not expecting max speed Togekiss? Yeah, yeah, timid max speed Togekiss, I suppose, is, is, it's, it's a thing. Either they're timid max speed or they're just a lot of bulk, I guess. The thing is, we, we see Togekiss as such a bulky Pokemon and everything, but yeah. when, when you look at the opponent's team, like, everything is made to deal damage, so... Mm. Yeah, those were just two offensive we'd teams have, there. We'd have to expect the Toga crits and maybe even Max Speed. Oh. We've got... It looks like something we faced earlier. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've just been streaming with Harry here and and we just played a team just like this, didn't we? It was not exactly the same because I think we'd, we'd remember the order of the Pokemon, maybe, or maybe. It is similar, isn't it? I'm not it's sure. It's not the same player because I'd, I'd remember all of the in-game name of the opponent. Hmm. But okay. Well, we'll do what we did in in the game uh, on Harry's stream. We led with Charizard and Stonejourner, with Venusaur in the back and Torkoal in the back in case they do get Trick Room up. Um, and the only way this goes wrong is if they lead with the Dusclops, because normally to to beat a Dusclops, I would oh, yeah. lead with Torkoal and Charizard. To have the stun up and then swap into stun journey for the, the power spot boost and be able to one shot the talk uh one shot the uh the dust clops that way but um in in the stream with harry he led with dust clops if it i mean if it's, if it's a different person who knows but um ooh, okay and we did end up winning the game thankfully but um this is this is an interesting lead because his lead right now is basically him banking on hitting sleep powder if he doesn't hit Sleep Powder, we win the game. If we hit our Heat Waves. So, so I'm not going to try and... So let's uh, make Receive a Sleep Powder not that worrying. I mean, um, I'm, yeah, I think we just double sure. attack here. I think yeah. there's, there's nothing we can do to stop um, Sleep Powder. So Offers. we just need to hope it, it misses. Um, and if it does miss, hope that we get... Uh, and if it doesn't miss, hope that we get like a first turn wait. Because we have many odds in our side. Yeah, we do, we do. And if he doesn't, I mean, and if he doesn't sleep out of the, um, oh, okay, the stone journey, which I don't think he will, then we've got flinch chances as well too. But this is going to be an interesting turn one. Solar beam. Okay, Ooh. well the focus ash is is going to do well for us here. I think I think he's losing both of his Pokemon right now. As long as we hit the uh, both of our ninety percent moves. Hey, okay, that's 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 a good hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think with the power spot, I don't think that critical hit even mattered on the Toka hit. Well, there you go. There's he a rock slide into nothing. His own son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, 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 if he has got dust spots now, because we have got the sun and the power spot, we can one shot it with Charizard. Okay, it's just uh, it's just his son there. So now we'll try and win a potential speed tie and um, try and rock slide him, I guess. Mm. Because this is yeah, still dangerous yeah, if he. The taco, the taco is the easier to to be knocked dead by Venusaur. Yeah. So, so I think I even if he does, on. even if it does Gigantamax his Charizard here, we do need to be targeting it. Like, this game isn't over. Like, that again, that was just like the first game. This was a, a fantastic turn one for us, but um, this could be tricky still. I mean, if we win a speed tie here, then amazing. If it is even a speed tie. I mean, not all Charizard are timid max speed. 
or Jolly Max Speed, if you saw my belly drum chart that last week. <laughs> <laughs> But if he wins a speed tight, he has to target my uh, stone Jenner. Ah, that's a shame. Oh, but he's targeted my Charizard Ooh. and one shot it I four, so I with no, a critical hit. hit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm not the, your lucky charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I'm need to hit this rock slide now. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it was a life up. So. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. It doesn't even finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. So that okay. So that that was. Okay. Okay. And because right. we haven't got sleep powder on this Venusaur, um, there's no way that we can win this now. Um, so he needed to, one, win the speed type, 50%, two, get a critical hit to one-shot our Charizard, which whatever the percentage that is now, and also he needed the 10% to miss the Rock Slide. If we hit the Rock Slide there, um, we would have put it in range of a Sludge Bomb from our Venusaur this turn, and my Toehold is not minimum speed, so probably it's going to be faster than his Toehold as well there. So this has been a, a very, very, very unfortunate turn of events. And there's, there's no way that we can win this now, because the Charizard just needs to airstream again. Um, unless maybe I, what, critical hit my Sludge Bomb into his Charizard. Because if, if he airstreams again, he will be faster than my Venusaur, I guess. So, um, I guess we've got to go with this. Um, but, yeah, wow. Um, I, they are so scared by Sleep Powder. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Oh, and his Tokol, oh, oh, his Tokol's got the airstream boost, of course. Oh, that, that's... That's right, that's right. So uh, that's why he's faster than uh, our talk all there. Wow, well, that was... What a weird couple of games. <laughs> wow. We're only 17 minutes, so I'll look for one more game. I also don't feel satisfied that this was a, a, a proper <laughs> game. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, it's funny because um, one of the games we did on Harry's stream was... Um, basically a win if Stone Jenner hit the, the rock slide as well on an Arcanine. It was at plus four after a beat up and, and we missed that as well, so... <laughs> uh, not good. Oh well. I mean, at least they've been fast, quick games. Let's look one more then. Thank you for the rare candy. Nope, don't when you look at your team. Because uh, I know what I need to know about it. <laughs> and uh, go on then. Let's see what we get. It's funny how I was like ranked 100 and something. And then I haven't played on here for like a week or so. And it dropped me down to 1,000. <laughs> so obviously it's yeah. all for the people the there. The beginning of the month is wild. Up here as well. Okay, and this is... This is kind of similar to the first team that we played. First Geradigon, Geradigon that we face today. Mm, another very fast, very offensive team. Whenever I see a Braviary, I expect Rockfall on it now. <laughs> like, they, they, they just have Rockfall. For some reason. Well, for Charizard, I imagine. But, um... I am a little bit worried. I'm actually thinking about maybe going Char um, Raichu and Charizard to lead here. Because then we can fake out an attack. Yeah, if he does, he, if Wimsuka doesn't have protect, then yeah, we have to pick control for the rest of the game. But I am, I'm still worried about this uh, Braviary. I think Torkoal and uh, Venusaur are the, the ones we want in the back as well. But yeah, another. This looks like another offensive team, so this could be another very, very quick game. I can't believe that last game though. What on earth happened there? The speed tie loss, the critical hit, the rock slide miss. But you know, it happens now because rock slide finishes happen in tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll save control. we'll save the stun for for tournament play, and then it'll come out for us. 
Yeah, but I mean, I think he needed all three of those to, to win the game as well. That's mad. Wow. Yeah. That's, that is crazy. But, you know, whatever. That's Pokemon, isn't it? That's why we've got RNG in the game and whatnot. Okay, this isn't the worst lead. This just looks like beat up, doesn't it? This time we are not forgetting about it. So, <laughs> at least we are thinking about this option. Hmm, so... But now we have Raichu, so... Yeah, yeah. I did put, just as a note as well, I put uh, Electro Web on Raichu to get around other Lightning Rods, so I could Electro Web other Gyarados and still, still. Um, and still have um, a decent matchup against them. Uh, I mean, the basic move here is just to go for the fake out and airstream more into the, the women's got, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, and go for it. But, um, yeah, I suppose I, I suppose I should. But... I, don't expect it, I don't expect it to have both protect and beat up. Yeah. So it's really... It's really low supporting when he got in that case. Yeah. And if he does, if I went for a wildfire, that still wouldn't have knocked him out, but we would have been getting the residual damage a little bit earlier, so mm. uh, we'll see. With I mean, we'll still have the, the extra speed boost You know, well, the but... games are, get, are going really fast these days, so... <laughs> yeah, very fast. <laughs> this is a Master Ball Lucario, is it? Okay. Maybe, in, a, in a red. I'm worried that this Lucario's Maybe. got a rock move now. No. Okay. Okay. I was I I was afraid of <laughs> protect for no reason. I do like your um your reasoning though. I mean, having protect and beat up on the same set is a little bit. It's a bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. But also, what is this Lucario doing? If it has got a rock move, then we're still in danger. And it has got a rock. <laughs> <My move. God. laughs> We're still in danger. All the pocket decks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, at least he hasn't got Tailwind. Up. But this, oh, this game just got very difficult now again. But there's no more focus there. Um, we've got Magnet anyway, and Raichu. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So I mean, we can Electro Web, but um, I think we have to put Venusaur in. Yeah. Wow. What a wild set of games. <laughs> And he's got the fake out there as well, too. Yeah, Rock, I mean, from what I understand, on these beat-up Lucario, they will obviously have a fighting attack and a steel attack and protect. But do they normally have a rock attack? Yeah. Mm. I mean, it has but to be... Cr crunch is good. For... It's very good coverage. It's really good against Dragapult. Well, by very good, I mean... It's good when you're at plus four attack. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max Steel Spike is... Is good at this moment, so. Yeah, we're not doing too well here, are we? Um. Anyway, he will use fake out on one Pokemon and yeah. max move on the other one, so. Yeah, I imagine he's probably going to fake out into the right here. But, I mean, we'll just try and protect. We'll see what happens. But, um. Yeah, these have. Well, these have been some pretty quick, pretty wild games. They've been fast, at least. But, um. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think I think we can say we split this this video 50-50. I guess we can count that last one as a as a we should have won. <laughs> so it went for the fake out into the Venusaur. Um, we'll see if Lucario targets the Raichu here or not, or if he does just double into the Venusaur. It's knuckling. It's probably into the Raichu then. Yeah, but we survive. Ooh. Is a the sand is probably going to take us out though. Uh, you lose exactly 8 HP here, so, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Okay. If we had Stone Journer in the back, we'd be okay here, I think, maybe. Because a Power Spot boosted, Life Orb boosted Earth Power could maybe still get the um, Lucario. But then there's still the, uh, the Incinero as well there. He's just going to go for a rock fall into Torkoal here, isn't he? So, we'll protect the Torkoal, and we'll hope that Venusaur is going to be strong here. 
Maybe a critical hit can help us. <laughs> okay. No. It's it just doesn't want to die. It's no, it's, it's, it it's never it's, dies. It's it's so bulky, isn't it? So yeah, this rock falls surely into the uh, talk hole because that's what was threatening the uh, Lucaria there. He hasn't used a close combat or anything, so he's he is still uh, his his neutral defense. As else, we could have maybe gone for an earth power there, but then Tokol can't really beat an Incineroar one on one. And if this is a flare blitz into the Venusaur, which it is, then that's game over. So um, yeah, well, these have been some three very very quick games here. Um, but uh, that last game, the RNG in that last game, what could we have done? Have done what, what? What could we have done different this game? We could have literally just gone for the uh, the. Um, the uh, wildfire straight into the Lucaria, really, couldn't we? But, um, oh well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just try and uh, try and heatwave here. I, I'm not used to the team uh, enough to know what plan to make, like, to be honest. Well, if we get a critical hit on his Incineroar here, we'll see. No, well, at least that talk, that blooming <laughs> Lucario is gone. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see what he had in the back then, at least. It is Drake. Okay, oh, we okay. have 100% lost this game. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. Alright then. Yeah, wow, what, what, what a crazy few games. All right, well, that's that then for this one. Um, we'll be back again um, tomorrow. We'll do one more video, I think, one more for, for uh, tomorrow. So uh, please uh, like and subscribe and share and do all the rest of it. And uh, go and check out Harry's stuff as well, too, especially if you, if you know how to speak French as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, goodbye from me and goodbye from Harry, too. See ya. <laughs> Bye for now.